My name is Troy Cosgrove and I'm with the St. Louis District Army Corps of Engineers. And today I'm going to be talking about the different types of levees. The first levee type is federally constructed and federally operated and maintained. These levees usually occur around federal installations or federal projects. The second type, and these are the most common type across the country, are constructed by the Corps of Engineers, federally constructed, and then turned over to the locals for operation and maintenance. The third type is built by the locals, and then the locals operate and maintain that levy. However, they've enrolled in the Corps program. The fourth type is locally built and locally operated and maintained. It is not en enrolled in the Corps program. The first three types make up the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Levy Safety Program. The fourth type doesn't have any associate with the, association with the Corps of Engineers. If the first three types were damaged during a flood event, the Corps would assist in rehabilitating those levees. For the fourth one, that would not occur. So first I'm going to talk about Camp Swampy. This is a federally constructed and federally operated and maintained levee. We perform both routine annual inspections on this and also periodic inspections which occur about every five years. For Metroville, this is a project that was built by the Army Corps of Engineers and then turned over to the locals to operate and maintain. We perform not only routine annual inspections, but also periodic inspections. For Riversburg, this levy was locally constructed and is locally operated and maintained. They only receive a routine annual inspection. For Greentown, this levy was locally constructed and is locally operated and maintained. However, it does not have any association with the Army Corps of Engineers program. So if you live, live behind a levy, get involved and find out who owns, operates, and maintains your levy.